Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Picking the Brain. Uh, today we are going to discuss what is a simplex. Uh, simplex is a mechanical grade one push button lock uh, made by Kaba. Um, it comes in many different forms for different applications. Uh, today I have two of the more popular ones that we see here in Texas a lot. Um, this one is the L1000 series, and this one is the 5000 series. And what makes these locks special is that they are purely mechanical. They require no batteries, and because they are grade one, they're highly durable in all environments. And since they have no batteries, as you can see, they uh, don't have to worry about them exploding or corroding the locks. And because they are mechanical, uh, they're highly serviceable. Almost all the parts are replaceable, unlike most locks today. And since there's no electronics, you don't have to worry about any of that. All right, like Brian said, these are two of the most popular models we have, the L1000 and the 5000 series. The L1000 series is this one right here, which we see the most of down here in Texas. If you run across them, the default code on these are two and four at the same time, and then three. This one's not set to that, but if you listen carefully, that's the mechanical button that's being pushed. You can only use the digit in the code once, uh, but you can use one number at a time, two at a time, or even a halfway depressed button as part of your code. And the way you change these, uh, you have to have a wrench and a key that usually comes with the lock. Um, we don't have the key at the time, but on the back here, you would unscrew with the key and then use the wrench and in a way which we actually have a video that shows you how to change it. And when that, yeah, basically there, we have a video that shows you how to do it. We're not going to get into that right now, but, but like you said, you use the key, pull the spindle out, use the wrench. There's some steps to follow, um, which it's a lot to cover. So I'm not going to go over that, but if you don't follow those instructions hundred percent correctly and you mess up, well, then you're going to need a locksmith because you're going to have to end up, um, if you grab that other lock, we're gonna need that. You're gonna end up having to break down the lock, kind of like this, where Brian's already taken off the back plate, so you just pull the plate off, and then this right here is the uh, chamber, the uh, code combination chamber, so they call it. <laughs> and some of the most popular parts that need to be serviced on here, which Brian said earlier, you can replace nearly every single part on this lock, which is what makes it very unique. Because today we live in a replace first. You know, oh, the lock's broken, replace it. It's not you don't usually replace any parts. But on these, there's actually whole servicing classes and certifications on how to service their locks because they're all different but similar in many ways. But the most important, uh, most common parts that are replaced is the combination chambers or the arms, uh, the clutch assembly, the arms, return springs, the chamber release kit, things like that. So um, if you have problems with them, you don't have to buy a whole new lock. We can replace whatever part is wrong and then put it back together for you. And uh, we have a video on how to reset the code, because if you lose the code, you got to pull that combination chamber out and basically uh, look at it, take it apart and line everything up. There's some steps to that, too, which uh, we could put the link up for the video on how to do that. But yeah, if you try changing the code yourself and you fail, you're going to need a locksmith. Um, they also come in many different formats. We've sold many different formats over the years of these. They have like um, the cylindrical, you know, standard cylindrical. They have the deadbolt versions of them, like they're smaller. They have uh, latching deadbolts, regular deadbolts, full body mortise ones that integrate, integrate with the full body mortise. Uh, they have narrow styles for the door behind us, the storefront glass door, which are narrow, they fit on the on the door. They also have filing cabinet ones. They also have filing cabinet ones too, that's right. And maybe some other ones as well. They have quite a bit, but the Simplex series is a Kaba product line that they created, which is a mechanical push button line, which is what this is, they're all mechanical. There's no batteries on the back of any of these. As you can see, when he broke it down right there on the inside, you can see it is all mechanical. It's actually quite, quite impressive ingenuity. These locks are super heavy duty. Like you said earlier, they're grade one. They withstand all temperatures and climates. They can take a beating. Um, they, for people who are like, oh, it's just I'm way out of my farm, it's in the middle of nowhere, and I don't want to go out there and replace batteries, and it's just in the heat all day. Well, this is perfect, because you don't have to worry about any batteries or anything. So uh, so to answer your question, what a simplex lock is, it's a heavy-duty grade one, mechanical push-button lock. 
you can repair, you can service them, you can break them down, you can change the codes, you could use individual digits, you can use two at a time digits, you can use half digits. So they're pretty uh, versatile. Like you said, they make filing cabinet versions of them. They make deadbolt versions of them, cylindrical locks, some for full body mortises, some for narrow style doors. Literally everything out there, they pretty much uh, have something for now. So Cabo is a, uh, Dorma Cabo is a big company and they make a lot of good products, but this is one of their most common product lines that we use. Um, whenever you have outside gates that are in direct in the sun, that there's no way to run power to them and you don't want batteries, this is your way to go. Oh, they also make the uh, the dual sided one, oh, the, the EE 1000, I believe is what it's called. So like if we go to an assisted living home or, you know, a memory care place or, you know, those kind of places, sometimes they'll have doors or gates that have, it looks like this on one side and it looks like this on the other side. You got to use code in, code out, usually use them in institutions, you know, psych wars, things like that. So anyway, um, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up on, on the, uh, on the simplex locks. Uh, thanks for tuning in like usual. We're on all the social media platforms. We're on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Rumble now as well. So all our video database we are taking and putting it on Rumble. So if you're a fan of Rumble, well, please subscribe to our channel there. We have very few subscribers because we just launched it. So um, as always, thanks for tuning in um, to our uh, channel and stay tuned for more content.